Okay, howdy peeps and peoples. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. What we're doing today is me and Mikey come in. Uh, Mikey come in to help me on a Saturday. Thank you, Mikey, by the way. Um, on our resaw, I don't know who the bearing manufacturer is, but I mean, holy cow, these things cost a pile of money. I think they're like... I think I looked them up, and I think they're like 400 bucks a bearing. 400 bucks a piece yeah, is what they're asking for them. And what they are is two taper bearings sandwiched inside this roller housing, which is a thick, hard housing. I mean, you can see where the money's at in there. It's in the machining and all that mess. But these rollers mount into the fence, and then the cants, as they come through the resaw, they roll past them rollers. The fence holds the rollers, and then the cant rolls past them rollers in through the uh, saw. Now, what happens is is they're sealed style bearings and in our application we get sawdust shoved up in them and then sawdust gets in grease falls out bearings dry out bearings go bad bearings lock up and then we'll spend another 400 bucks so to save money i told guinea i said uh, this has to be re-engineered it just has to be well that is last week i about uh, I had a heart attack trying to get these things organized. They're not as easy to redo as I thought. You cannot cut these bearings. They are so hardened on the outside that I finally had to blow through them with a torch and pop in between the races and then put braze in there so I had something soft and then bored out with a uh, taper bit on my DeWalt battery die grinder and then take a drill bit and drill out the center so then it and it's and the idea is that you put your grease needle on there fill it up with grease and and then it seals up so here we are me and mikey's going to tear into this and uh uh i just wanted to share this with y'all so hope you like it now i'm not trying to throw anybody under the daggone school bus here but i'm going to tell you right now these bearing manufacturers, I don't know if it's the manufacturers, so I'm sure they see through this, but the, the, through the pipeline of manufacturing and selling it to people, they miss sight of the fact that when you're working in a contaminant type of atmosphere with a bearing, you need to purge it. You gotta purge it. You don't just grease a bearing to lubricate it. You grease a bearing to purge the crap out of it too, because the crap gets in. See what I mean? You know, and I didn't want to, you know, offend anybody and everybody be like, you know, people be like, well, you know, you talking too much, you know, about burning. I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. Early in the morning. What we're doing here is you can see where the old bearings got full of dirt and crap and contaminants. And I might bunk them races out. Swip, swap out races. Mm-hmm. If I become a professional at it, I could be a racist. I just thought of that. I amuse myself, really. I hope I do some good to you all, because I really amuse myself. Anyways, if I debunk these races out and change them race out, but you can see the contaminants in there. Because what they do, they try to make a daggone sealed bearing. They seal it. They're like, all right, we're going to seal it to the world. Well, what happens in this application is you're taking chunks and beating on them all the time. And then there's dust and pricklies and whatever gets in there. And then pushes in there, pushes right past the dust seal. Up into the bearing they go. Grease comes out, bearing goes, gut dirt goes in, and dirt can't, you know, you're never purging. So anyways, <clears throat> what I'm doing is in between these races, in between them races, I'm popping a hole in them. Let's see if you can see it. it it's hard to operate these pliers with one hand. There, inside that sucker. See that hole in there? I'm popping through them with the torch. And then you take your needle greaser, and push it right on there and in the bottom i'll be back i'll i'll be back so i'll give you a little bit of play by play so first i took a black dot and i marked it and i'm gonna take a torch and i'm gonna bore a hole through it then i'm taking my grinder i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then grab the torch back and braze the hole shut with braze 
Once the hose bray shut and flattened out good, then I take the grinder and I touch it up. And so I'm smoothing it back up so the roller's smooth. And it's easy to find it because I can cut right through the braze. And then when I start throwing sparks, I know I'm in there. Now, I'm gonna, while it's all hot yet, I'm taking my taper bit and my die grinder and boring that out and getting that nice and cleaned up. And then this one here, I must have bust through it, so I rebraze it. This is roller by roller. Now I got it right. You see how I got hot? There it is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I took a drill bit, I popped a hole in it. And then once the hole's in it, move on to the next one. And here's the next one. Got the black dot, marking it. Pop a hole through it. Clean it up the grinder. Grab the brazing rod. Now if that's brazed over and cleaned up, now I'm gonna take the grinder and clean all the extra excess braze off there so it's a smooth roller again. Take my boring bit, bore through it. Ooh, look how it got hot. And then I'll grab my drill. Oh yeah, here we go. What we do now is me and Mikey's putting everything back together. We're putting uh, caps back on. We got to put the taper bearings in. Some of them we're changing the races in. Some of them we're running the old races because a lot of the bearings, this is old ones that we've been pulled out over the years because they done went sour and we're kind of remanning them and stuff like that. So, And I bought some bearings off of eBay, some of the races and stuff, simple bearing stuff. And, can move something so big and hold up to it, you know? <laughs> What's the hat? The, these little big things here. Oh, the yeah. Can... Through compression? Yeah. 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 Uh, them, once it was sitting over here, then forward. Yeah, I fixed them. Okay. Yep, they're fixed. All right. Hell, there's other rags up there. Yeah, I was like, well, you gotta take my shit. Yeah, it's just just to get your rags, all right? That's what. Just to get my rags. They're always after my rags. <laughs> Good. I had the that same trouble. forever to get it. I was yeah. Like, well, once I did, I was like, yeah, that's easy. Spring balls on me, on me, on me. Tap, 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 tap. He said, don't hold the button in. Just give her the old taparoo. God, story! Okay, so then it takes. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's new on me. Right here we go. Oh, yeah. And you wouldn't believe how much by just taking your hand and setting it up on the log, how much different it'll make it. Look. As far as the log not moving anymore than it needs to? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and you don't really have to put no force or nothing. You fellas need to know how to do everything. 
I tried to. The more people, and those more, uh, the better off everybody is. Tear it up. People can take off, people can do their thing. And you know what, it ain't gonna be a nightmare on everybody else. Yeah. When everybody knows what each other's jobs are. I should. These all got knickknack rings on them, I'll keep them going. Maybe we'll have enough. I was like, they should be there. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Here's yeah. one I needed. I'll look from there. I was like, cause that was everywhere I put everything that I took off of them. I mean, really, you, you gotta have a crew cab, really, to fucking. I know. And so I've looked all night last night, and I didn't find nothing I like. I was just like, wow. Nothing, huh? I found some I like that ain't my price range. Right. But I didn't love them. Yeah. I just liked them. But they still went my price range. If you would have If I'd have loved them, I'd have made a difference. Might have yeah. been worth spending some money on, but. <laughs> Are you gonna stay gas? It's a diesel now. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was gas. Put like two junkie bearings together, should I? Or should probably put a good set. I'll put this good I, set. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's a mess. Likes to torment people and he likes to be tormented. <laughs> Best way to sum it up. I think some people call that a good attitude. Yeah, I was like, what he's got to deal with at his house? Yep. Uh, come, he, to keep a smile on his face? Yeah, he's got a way better outlook on what, on what I do. Strong, Wade. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I tell you, Mikey, there's a couple of us guys that come in on Saturday. Well, a few of us guys that comes in on Saturday. Logging crew and the truck drivers quite often um, when we're busy and pushing. But uh, Mikey come in, him and Carrie and them, a lot of them work on Saturdays. That's kind of the way you get ahead in life, the excess. But <clears throat> I tell you, I love working with these men. That just being a part of this community just you know, on the YouTubes and on the daggone at the sawmill and stuff and just being a part, being helpful, being a part of somebody's life, just helping out. That's, I love that feeling that I get from, I get a high from that, from helping somebody and kind of moving along here, you know, and uh, they're marking a the box. Me and Mikey come up a few extra parts there. But we did get enough racing. Oh, and I need to think of a note. I need to order a few more of them bearings. But we turned out we got it done, and I don't think we'll be messing with these much anymore. I think it'll take forever for this thing to wear out now that we got these fixed like we do. Um, I was pretty daggone pleat. No, look, I'm ordering it right there. Heck no. I done got it took care of, I guess. I guess they, if they're coming in. But I just wanted to... You know, put a little kudos out for Mikey for helping me get the. He does excess. He does. He's a good man. I really like hanging out with Mikey. He's fun. He's adventurous, and uh, he can be a mess. I love him. Daggone, I love hanging out with that guy. But we're gonna take his over there. We're gonna get over there by the fence, and we're gonna install these things and put them back in. And then I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when you grease them and you actually get the purge get the purge out of them that's what i'm after is that purge funny it goes yeah <laughs> if it's just tacky no yeah. all right yep now i ain't greased them yet because uh, yeah and i wanted to get greased them because i was going to set up the structure vision show yeah. them 
So here's well, what we're uh, making. We gotta get into the shop or the power. Oh! No, no it's, it's, it works. It just needs some cans beating on it. Yeah. It's probably one of them that's rusting. Oh, no. Yeah, well, I might have tightened it up for me to do. Uh, what size is it all? Right see? here in a, uh, it's a two inch. Or it might be eight and seven eighths. But I got the Allen head right here. It's an inch and a half. I figured it once we hit it with grease let's and grease got it. it moving in. Yeah, let's grease it and run it. Yeah. Making it loose just makes it wear in a joint. Couldn't find a uh, shock washer for that. Please. For what? For, oh, they're weird lock washers too. Yeah, because I grabbed the size that fit on. And it won't fit. And it won't. Yeah, it won't too bad. But they might not have to go yeah. without it if it ain't. Na what would you call that? Like narrow, narrow, right. narrow lock washer? Yes. Oh. Like I said, I think there was only one or one or two that didn't have it. But I mean, it's still not that a couple spares. Seventeen to see it drop stuff. Oh yeah. And there. Ooh. Crack yet? I don't think in the bands. Yeah, they was uh, talking to me about that there. Tickled paint, good deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rick and Ball been trying to get one for a while. There's one in there in the drawer in there. Uh, somebody ended up took mine. I found it again, and then it, I was like, no. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, it, it's made a tremendous difference in just like this chi or whatever they call it. Yeah. I feel less stressed out, you know. Yep. Uh, yeah. You're too high strung. You know that though. I've been <laughs> since day <laughs> one. But it's, but it's part of what makes you ambitious too. Yeah. You know, it ain't all bad. But you gotta have patience to uh, deal with people. Yeah. And these people bitch about other people and like to hate people and stuff like that. They they don't do nothing but lose their whole life. Yeah. You gotta love people. That's People's, amazing, huh? People working with people is how we make it. Yeah.
Thanks, guys, for watching. One thing I wanted to say is everybody out there, do be safe. Please, we all got to go home at the end of the night. There's other people relying on us, and let's not forget that. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Hey, guys and gals, don't forget to go to loggerway.com for all your logging away gear. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How much you pay me to say that? <laughs> Man, how much you gonna do?